I work at a recently built city parking garage and a transit hub. The late night is my job to lock everything up until the morning. And I have to patrol the dark building alone with just a radio link to the local police department. It's a very simple procedure that takes maybe 10 minutes to lock up everything with 15 minute walkthroughs every hour. At roughly 3 o'clock in the morning though, I'm very tired from my 8 hour shift. Four more hours to go. I drag myself through the security center. Fancy talk. <laughs> with a chair and monitors. And begin to ascend through the ramps. I listen to my footsteps echo and realize that they seem quieter than usual. I could smell a typical putrid smell of the city. It was the fermenting feces in the trash can from the numerous homeless. We had to lock down public bathrooms to prevent damage, theft, and vandalism. And most importantly, deaths from people overdosing in the middle of the night. I finally got to the top of the floor and summoned the elevator. I placed my forehead against the door, feeling the cold air rushing up through the elevator shaft as it reaches my floor. With a satisfying ding, I stepped in. I got to ground floor and then continued back to the office. I fling the door open and head inside running for the cold office room. The door usually gets hung up a little, so a swift heel, I slam it shut and make my way to my desk. The computer that runs the cameras is worthy of being called ancient. I'm pretty sure they don't even make them anymore. Not to mention the internet's camera runoff is so slow they take forever to update. So I sat there with my new favorite pastime watching myself walk around from all the lag. Yeah, that's how far behind it was. I sat there watching myself drudge through the stupidly hot weather. I laughed to myself as I watched my hand land against the cold steel of the top elevator floors. As the doors open and the light floods area around me, my blood went ice cold. There was a man standing no more than six feet away, just staring at me. As I entered the elevator, I headed for the stairs, already vaulting down the steps. My heart races as I watch the camera as he hits the floor. I hit the fourth, the third, almost seamlessly. He's keeping up perfect time with the elevator. My ears begin to boil as I feel the blood rush to my head. I'm having a hard time breathing. I watch as the elevator doors close and he begins following me again, closer and closer after each turn of the corner. As I watch, as I fling the door open, and he catches it, heading in right behind me, my heart pounding in my eardrums. He's inside the building. I keep watching, knowing I should look away. I can't find him. Then I see why. I kick the door shut in his face, which means... Oh my god. As I search the room, I eventually discover it's just me down here. I radio a few officers to come, and they sweep the building. They gave me a slap on the wrist for not paying attention and left. The rest of the night I stayed in that room. I watched the camera diligently, but I never saw him again. Now every time I go to work, I can never shake a feeling I'm being watched.